And this will be a 40-yard field goal. Logan's long on the season is 41. Snaps down. Kick is up. It's pretty. Is it on target? It is. And he had 10, 15 yards to spare. 3-0 Bridgewater. And Jalepe will take the snap. He's got it. He's going to burst through the line. He's into the end zone. Demetrius Jalepe from 26 yards out. And the Eagles have regained the lead. Gardner sends Lancaster by himself out here on the near side. Black the setback. Rolling out, back to pass. Gardner in some trouble, throws off his back foot, and it's going to be intercepted in the end zone by the Eagles. Play action. Rolling out is Gardner. Throws, has a man all by himself. Touchdown. And it's the freshman again, Tyler Roberts. Metery takes a snap. He'll try and push his way in. He's bent backwards, but he's awful close to the first down. He might have the first down. The Bishops are celebrating, but it might be a first down. It is. If that's where they place the ball, it's a first down. So the Bishops were celebrating for absolutely no reason. They may have kept him out of the end zone, but I don't think they realized that the Eagles could get a first down. And they did. So Coach Clark's gamble Seems to have paid off. And the quarterback keeper, Scroggins, is in. The Eagles have the lead. There's no question that that wasn't one of the prettiest things we've coached this year. But I do think this, down the stretch here, I'm coaching a pretty good football team. You know, and good football teams kind of find a way to win. And I do think this, uh, you know, defensively, uh, yeah, there's an explosion play. They, we have a snafu in the kicking game that allow them to compete. But the bottom line is, I think we got stops when we needed it. Uh, you know, we had the long, the drive, a, a special, a punt return, a little bit, a good drive by our offense, and you know, to have the confidence to say, hey, it's fourth and one and a half, and it's a tie game, and I'm not kicking a field goal from the two. You know, that tells you something about the the pe how I feel about the people I'm coaching. Can't say enough about Brandon Metery. I hate to talk about individuals because uh, I'm normally leave somebody out, but. Uh, you know, him down the stretch, uh, that Wildcat offense is no, nobody's found a way to stop it. They know what's coming and it just doesn't matter. And uh, I do think, you know, what our seniors have done for this program is very significant. It's, I had challenged him there when I met at the Bell. Hey, Randolph Macon won a playoff game today. Good for Randolph Macon. That's good for our league. But I also look our kids right in the eye and say, why not us? Why can that not be us? And, you know, my hope is, is our players and our coaches and the people in the program make choices to get us to that point. And it ain't about waiting until next December. We're going to have to get after it again starting Monday.